published 1743 EDT, the 12th of September 2017 updated 1743 EDT, the 12th of September 2017 the jury will be out for some time on whether the Football League's new £120 Malier TV rights contract with Sky is a good deal for the 72 clubs. On the plus side, they have guaranteed TV income until 2024 after signing a five-year extension to the deal that was to end after next season. And clubs will have unprecedented freedom to stream or televise their own matches outside Sky's live games and the protected Saturday 3pm fixtures. But there will be critics, led of course by Derby owner Mel Morris, about the length of time that the EFL have committed themselves to Sky during an ever-changing broadcast landscape. And the near 36% rise in the value of the contract will also be seen as disappointing. Sky have committed to a £120 Malier deal with the Football League until 2024 the EFL admitted in the letter to clubs on Tuesday bids were lower than we anticipated. It was revealed that BT Sport had initially put more money on the table than Sky but declined to up the three-season offer, leaving Sky to come back with £600 million over five years. Crucially, the EFL were not able to engage both pay TV operators in a competitive auction, despite the ECB managing to do this with their TV rights tender three months earlier. But only after the outcome of forthcoming sports rights tenders will it be possible to properly evaluate how well or badly the EFL have done this time. Meanwhile, the BBC are back in the bidding for Football League highlights following difficulties with Channel 5, where the Saturday 9pm start of the show has not worked. But there will be critics, such as Derby owner Mel Morris, about the length of the contract Lancashire fans will have been bemused to see Paul Allett part of the Sky Sports coverage of Warwickshire v Essex on Tuesday rather than travel to Somerset with Lancashire where he is widely perceived to be the new director of cricket. However, it emerges that Allett has not yet been officially announced in that role and won't start until October. For the first time in post-war World Cup history, it looks like there will not be an English referee at the tournament in Russia next summer. The shortlist was drawn up by FIFA two years ago with Mark Clattenburg, who has since retired from the Premier League list. As the English representative, there was some hope that Clattenburg might represent Saudi Arabia, where he now administers referees. But Clattenburg also works as a pundit for BT Sport, sharing the role with Graham Paul, ruling him out of a FIFA call-up. FA referee's chief David Ellera has appealed to FIFA to add another English official to the referee's team, but there is said to be little hope of that happening. It appears there won't be an English referee at the World Cup, with Mark Clattenburg ruled out when even those who know Roy Hodgson well are unsure if he has recovered from being in charge of the England team knocked out of Euro 2016 by Iceland. It's beyond belief that he is taking over at Crystal Palace. Hodgson could lose the dressing room as quickly as Frank de Boer. Botham beef with T20 Durham chairman Ian Botham has let the England set-up know exactly what he thinks of the decision to rest Ben Stokes from the 2020 international against World Cup winners West Indies at Chesterley Street on Saturday. Local hero Stokes, central to promoting the sport, had a chance to get some. Revenge for being hit for four sixes in the T20 World Final last year. However, it transpires that both them will also miss the game because of another commitment. The club said on Tuesday both them WASNT expected to be there and WASNT on the guest list. 
Ian Botham has voiced his opinion to England about the decision to rest Ben Stokes at Durham England manager Gareth Southgate avoided the curse of the football writer's golf day at Stoke Park on Monday by declining an invite. It was during his round at last year's event that Sam Allardyce discovered he had been the victim of a newspaper sting that cost him his job. Meanwhile the FWA have found new sponsors in non-league football backers Vanarama.